Hi everyone, my name is Frambel Omilari. Welcome to our channel Ochaleo. In this video, we can see the different plan from our religion that we could have in our house for our own benefits. Chareo, Ada Che, Chenife Chokun, Chenife Maru, Chenife La Ocha. The ornamental plant in our religion is part of our tradition. We should know that most of our elders, they take care of different of them. Like you can see here how uh, Gloria Esperanza, that she has 50 years old in Ocha, she takes care of her ornamental plants every single day. It not only helps us with our energy, also with something is wrong around us, one of them pick it up that bad energy. One that, for example, we could have is the prodigiosa o siempre viva. This plant is named in Lukumi, is a way dum dum. It works with Obatala. We can use in so many different ways. Even sometimes we can take, for example, two or three leaves and prepare a bath. But also when we go uh, for a to a cemetery or the hospital, sometimes, for example, the women take one and, and put it, it cover the head with one of them. Or when we go going to any funeral in general. Also, when we are uh, going to do the rogation to refresh our head too, we mix it with the coconut and the rest of the ingredients and we put it in our head and it's so well. The next one is the croto. The croto belongs to Elegua. Our elders said that this is one of the plants that represent Elegua, that is Elegua in person. That's why some of them uh, take the stone and, for example, they watch this stone in a ceremony and they fit it with a legua and put it inside this plant and put this plant outside the house it is possible or next to the door. The croto also, one leaf of croto, just one. When you need to go, for example, to port or something like that, you put it in your pocket and this is good because any single bad energy that could be around you, it pick it up. When we talk about la lengua de vaca, the tongue of the cow, uh, la lengua de vaca is one of the plant that is so hard to die and we can have in the house because when people are talking about us, this plant take all the negativity of the tongue. Also, if you have any single situation with a particular person, you can take one leaf of this plant, write down the name, and you put it inside a boom, and you add rum, a smoke, or cigar for so many different days. And when it get dry, the you see that it's dry, you bend this leaf and you take, for example, the benzeol stick, okay? You escape this, this um, stick and you mix it with the ashes of this um, leaf and it, you blow it out close to the person that you have a problem. And if we uh, have someone in the hospital and we want to protect this person, we can write down the nature in one of the leaves. The only thing is that it's different. We add cascarilla and cocoa butter 
and we wrap it up with cotton and we put it in Obatala because also this end work with Obatala. The albanca is the air that work with Babalu Aye and in Palo Mayombe. Also in Palo Mayombe is Piti and Zambi. So it's one of the important, the main important airs in Palo Mayombe. We can use it to watch our glasses, for example, when we're going to purify the glasses for our bobea, we prepare a little um, container with this air and we add cascarilla, holy water, and we watch our glasses. In addition to that, we can prepare a inche of osain, a little bag that we put this air inside and we add uh, a piece of palo, for example, the stick of siguaraya, a stick of vencedor, uh, yo puedo más que tú, and it's so good. And you can fit it in your pack, for example, or you can talk with one of your friends that have the pack of sarabanda, or or something like that, and fit it. You can use like an inche or, or sign. The Map Pacifico, we know that it belongs to Yemaya, also uh, work in Palo and with different Orisha. This plan is the plan that Osain blessed. Because when Osain had problems and he didn't have anyone to help him, the Map Pacifico help Osain and provide him with the widow. So he blessed the Map Pacifico. This is the reason that we can see this plan in so many different countries. Um, the flower has so many different colors too. We can use in the Boveda some um, mediums in the uh, the glass that is in the middle of the Boveda they put it in there. Why? Because he called the spirituality of the Indians, the Congos, the Jesus. So they use for that. And if you have an Indian, for example, you can take one flower of my Pacifico to attain this spirit, the Yerba Buena. It's one of the plants that not only we can use to prepare a great mojito to drink, also is the plant that belongs to Babalu Aye. So this plant has the, the power, the capacity to help us with the health. In Palo, we use the Yerba Buena too. So we can take one of these plants, for example, and when we are uh, take care of it, we put nets to Babaluaye, something that you can see in so many different religious houses that they had a little a plan of menta, nets to Babaluaye. We can use this one too to prepare a little, you know, bath, sometimes we have an emergency. That's why it's so important to have this plan in our house, like ornamental plants, but in San Emesi, we can take three or four leaves and we can prepare a little bath for us. When we talk about the Kuruhe, the Kuruhe works with Agayu, Ochun, and Odudua. This plant in particular is the plant that call all the spirituality. Some people use even underneath of the table of the boveda, but also the hanging like you can see in this picture outside the house to pick up different uh, illness that they don't know is to, to the unknown illness and problem. We have so many different kinds of curuhei. This one that you see here is the Santissimo one that was with Odudu and Obatalan, all of that. 
And then we have another one that is like the sponge that we put inside of Agayu. And when the person has any tumor, for example, and this uh, Kuruhei has to be green, it cannot be dry, it has to be green, the person buy one and clean himself with this plant, and it's a gray, one of the gray above, when we have different tumor that the doctor don't find the solution. The cactus or tuna, this plant in particular belongs to Orumila. We have the patakin that Orumila has a great enemy, and he couldn't fight with this enemy because he was so strong. So he made a fan around his house with cactus and tuna. And when his enemy decided to attack him, crash with the fan and got poison with all the thumb that this fan has. So this is the reason that we use this plant in particular outside the house. Like always, I'll, I'll tell you guys, if you don't have the, for example, the house that you can put it outside the house, put a nest close to the door, or in the place that when the people, when you open the door, that the person see the, the cactus in your home. And with that, it's enough. Thank you all of you for watching. The question of the day, do you have any of those plants in your house? Leave your comment below, a like, subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about new videos, music, interviews, and live streams. Health, faith, and prosperity. Ya tu sabes. Oh, chareo.